The following is an ESG on location video. Welcome to IBM Think here in lovely Las Vegas. Think from IBM was a combination of a number of shows that the company used to do. And I think not only is that a good idea from a, a company and a user perspective, but it also demands the fact that IBM needs to tell a cohesive story. Ginny in her keynote on day one, I think absolutely did that. And she introduced the intriguing concept of incumbents that disrupt, incumbents, if you like, that innovate. And that really is very interesting, both from a user perspective and from the company perspective. To talk about uh, what that really means from a solution perspective, from a capabilities perspective, I'm gonna hand to my colleague, Scott Sinclair. We'll also hear from a couple of IBM execs who sat down in front of the camera for us. With a theme like the innovative incumbent, it might sound a little counterintuitive at first. When we think about innovation, we tend to think about the emergent startup. But here, it's all about data. Incumbent companies within their industry tend to have more data within their storage systems, within their environments. They've been accumulating it for years, and that data has value. And here at IBM Think, it's all about unlocking that value. And it's not just within the infrastructure itself. I mean, behind me, you'll see all sorts of infrastructure solutions from all flash to many of the spectrum software technologies that IBM you know, continues to innovate around. But Think is so much more than that. There's technologies around artificial intelligence with Watson, blockchain, um, as well as IoT environments. And here, if you're an innovator, if you're someone, a CIO, that's looking about how do these solutions fit within my environment, you can sit down and have a conversation about Watson and then literally walk 100 feet over here to the infrastructure section and then see how these new emergent workflows fit within those infrastructure environments. And to me, that's really the story here at IBM Think, is not just about the technology, it's not just about the innovation, but it's about the marriage between the data and the, the technology itself that that data lives on, as well as these emergent workflows, all coming together to provide value and deliver to the incumbents that innovation that allows them to become more transformational within their industries. For the past two years, we've tried to get away from speeds and feeds. We sell solutions in a data-driven, multi-cloud environment that optimize business outcomes. So you can't go in and just say, oh yeah, look at my tape, or look at my all-flash array, or look at my data protection. That's not the way they want to talk. They want to know, why is it good for their cloud? Why is it good for their AI? What's it going to do for their modern workloads? I'm going to containers. I've been using VMware. But how do I get persistent storage for containers? That's the IT guy. Yeah. The CIO doesn't care about that stuff. He wants to make sure that all his software SLAs are always met so he can meet the needs of his business. So talking at up a level about how storage is a critical foundation for cloud workloads, AI workloads, even old workloads like SAP or Oracle or a VMware shop, the reality is storage is the critical foundation, just like a major building. The biggest thing is changing our overall go-to-market instead of being about products, you know, or we have a very broad portfolio. It's really about having conversations with clients and helping them be more data-driven and really modernize and transform their environments. Everyone wants to be data-driven in their business, and it doesn't matter if you're doing a public cloud or you're doing on-prem or you're doing physical or virtual or you want to do Docker containers. It doesn't matter what you're, you're all looking to be more data-driven. So that brings the whole IBM portfolio to bear to help our clients get to this next era. So I think what you're seeing on stage is really IBM in a fully integrated vision, but you've seen more and more. I've even seen the difference in the last 18 months really executing as a team. As we come to the end of what was a very big show, what can we take away? Scott talked about the idea of um, incumbent disruptors very much from the technology perspective. But it's fair to say that, of course, being an incumbent disruptor is exactly what IBM itself would like to be. And I think it did a very good job at putting forward its case to be that. And I saw three ways that that's true. Number one is from the portfolio. You cannot fail to be impressed by the range of products that you see and capabilities, services, software, and so on. Everything from tape through to blockchain and beyond. Also, secondarily, you've got, if I like to call it physics, 
Um, I sat through a presentation on quantum computing and just about managed to get my brain to, to cope with that. And then you've got, I think, perhaps the most important of these three Ps. So you've got the portfolio side, you've got the physics side, and then you've also got, if you like, the problem side. In other words, if you're to be a successful IT company, you've got to address problems. And right throughout this conference, IBM did a really good job of concentrating on solving problems and not just delivering technologies. And on that basis, I think we can say that the name of this conference is one that genuinely can be used because in terms of the place of this particular incumbent disruptor, this really made us all think.